Thomas Watson's Choice Excerpts on Scripture The lines of Scripture are more valuable than mines of gold. God's Word is the star which directs us to heaven. Scripture is the field where the pearl of great price is hidden. The scriptures are the richest jewels that Christ has left. The word is so full of goodness, justice, and sanctity that it could be breathed from none but God. It bears his very image. It has no errata in it. It is a beam of the sun of righteousness. It is a crystal stream flowing from the fountain of life. It commends to us whatever is just, lovely, and noble. The sword of the Spirit cuts down vice. Out of this tower of Scripture is thrown down a millstone upon the head of sin. The Scripture is the royal law which commands not only the actions, but the affections. Where is such holiness to be found as is dug from this sacred mine? Who could be its author but God himself? God's word is the judge of controversies and the rock of infallibility. All truth must be brought to the touchstone of Scripture. This blessed book will fill the head with knowledge and the heart with grace. God wrote the two tables with his own fingers. If God took pains to write, well may we take pains to read. The Scripture is a rock of diamonds, a chain of pearls adorning the Christian and glorifying God. The Scriptures are profitable for all things. Is the believer cast down? Here are comforts to delight the soul. Is he assaulted by Satan? Here is the sword of the Spirit to resist him. The Scripture is the chart by which the believer sails to eternity. The Scripture is the Christian's sundial by which he sets his life. The scripture is the Christian's balance in which he weighs his actions. The scripture is the Christian's map by which he daily walks.